Hi students, I'm here at the mini lathe to talk about the safety on the mini lathe. Now with the mini lathes, I have several different types and kinds, and as throughout this I'm going to be zooming in on some different sections. But on a lathe, its main purpose is to make wood round. Where well, most of our machines take square wood and keep it flat and make it more square, the lathe actually turns it round. Here we've got our basic mini lathe. We've got our on and off controls down here with an RPM meter right here telling us the speed the lathe is going. The lathe has some basic parts. We got our tool rest, we've got our head stock, and we've got our tail stock. And we'll show you how to adjust these each time to make sure that they're safe right before that you use them. But the biggest thing is, is this lathe has what we call a pin mandrel, but it's a mandrel. It's a steel bar that goes all the way through that your wood's gonna go around. This keeps things quite safe in the sense that it doesn't let big pieces fly off. So we got a basic rule in the shop that when you're using the pin mandrel, you just use it and check it yourself, and make sure that you're good to go and you can use it. But if we're not using a pin mandrel, if we're, we're uh, turning called between centers, then you have to get Mr. Tobler's or my approval every day that you set it up. I need to check and make sure it's good so that that wood doesn't go flying off the first time that you go and you turn it on. So. We've got our basic parts. We're going to show you some basics on how to run it. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and let you uh, see a little bit of parts as we're working on it. So here we're over here on another mini lathe that's set up very, very similar. And one of the most important things to remember is that all of this that's spinning with the mandrel on it or not, this has a tendency to want to grab many, many things. So one of the main safety things on the lathe is you want to make sure you've got your sleeves pulled back. You want to make sure you got your hair tied back. If you have long hair at all, make sure you get a rubber band from me so you can keep it tied up behind your head. Make sure you have nothing dangling from around your neck because it doesn't take a whole lot to get wrapped up in this lathe pretty, pretty, pretty badly. So on the lathe there's some basic main safety parts now here again here's a piece that is not on a pin mandrel so mr tobler's going to come in and he's going to do his checks he's going to make sure we got that tail stock adjusted properly so it's nice and tight tighten here tighten there he's going to check and make sure that you got your tool rest set close for what you're going to be doing now this operation right here that i'm going to be doing is called roughing where I'm taking a piece of wood, and this happens to be a piece of basswood. If I take a piece of wood and I'm going to make it round. Now I'm going to do that by adjusting the RPMs. So down here, as I turn it on, I'm going to want to spin it at we call a low RPM or around a thousand RPM. Now that's pretty slow. And this first part as I'm roughing, chunks are going to come off kind of rough because I gotta take off those corners and get it towards round. So in this case, I'm using a scraper to use. So I've got my tool rest at the height. I got my scraper parallel to the ground and I'm coming in and just taking off the corners. And as I did that, it opened up the space here to the tool rest. So I'm going to move it a little bit closer because those corners coming off this removing just a little bit of material, not too bad. And I'm going to come in here and as I'm turning at a low RPM or a low speed, it's not going to come so fast at me. And I'm just going to slowly work it around. And just after those few passes, I've got it so I'm almost round. I got a little flat spot left here, but a little flat spot there, right there, but most of it's round. So now I'm going to go ahead and adjust the RPM. So I'm going to go from 1000 RPM and I'm going to crank it up closer to about 2500 RPM. Now our speed's much greater, but this is safe because the corners are gone. So now as I come in and do my detailed and more cleanup work,
So as I do my cleanup work, it comes a lot faster. It's spinning a lot quicker, and it's much easier to clean that up from there. So for safety, use the low speed, low RPM when you're roughing until the corners are gone. Now that I've got it roughed or rounded, <coughs> excuse me, now we're ready to turn it into whatever shape we would like for our project. So with our tools, keep them diked to the rest. That'll keep things safe there. Because this is spinning, all the things that dangle, I'm going to keep away. The lathe is a very fun tool to use. We'll show you a lot more techniques and a lot more skills as we get onto it with your projects.